Okay, here we're looking at number 8C, which is another proof. And in this case, we're look, trying to make the cosine, cosine of x minus tan y times sine x and show that that's always equal to secant y times cos of x plus y. So trying to pick the most difficult side, this one looks like it might be slightly more difficult. I'll use the relation that cosine of any two angles being added up is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, except I'll, I'll substitute x and y into that. So the other relation I will use is that secant is 1 divided by cos. I'll jam both of those together, and we'll see what we get out of it. So secant is 1 over cos of y, and cosine of x plus y is cos x cos y minus sine x sine y. Now I've got a cos 1 over cos y that I'm going to multiply in each spot. So I would be left with cos x cos y over cos y e uh, sorry minus sine x sine y over cos y. Here that would cancel out and leave cosine of x looking pretty good because I see a cosine of x right here. And then you have sine y over cos y. Sine over cos is tan, so we would have sine x times the tangent of y. And that's exactly what we have on this side. So we have very quickly come to our proof in just under two minutes.